Hey guys, Prozy here. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be kicking off this list with my favorite band to wait, Fire the Watch. Thomas Almeida sitting at 20 wins, no losses, 16 wins, coming by either KO or TKO, two submission victories, one decision victories. This guy's an amazing striker. He always brings it. His technique is near flawless. He's always in the zone. He can either go into a war or he can just stay on the outside, pick apart his opponent with his amazing striking. And I feel this guy can really give even Dominic Cruz some trouble. You know, even I want to see this guy fighting for a title soon. Like he's up there. Just develop a bit, um, bit more technique with his grappling, and he'd be in there hands down. Next up on our list is Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who is the UFC flyweight champion. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, he's probably the most complete mixed martial artist in the game. The guy can mix it up with strikes, can take you down, can submit you. He's well-rounded everywhere. He's a gym rat. He's always improving his skill. And... A lot of the casual fans will probably say uh, Demetrius Johnson is boring. It's always a snore fest when he fights. But the real MMA fans will know and appreciate when Demetrius Johnson fights, how skillful, how technical this guy really is. And I don't see him losing that belt for an extremely long time. So, Next up on our list is somebody who I consider is one of the best grapplers in MMA today. Could be in the Romanoff. Uh, I probably butchered that last name. You have to forgive me on that. He is a lightweight, so we'll probably most likely be seeing him compete for a title as soon as he gets back from injury. But this guy gets a hold of you, and that's pretty much it. Solid grappler. He even has a little power in his hands. Um, probably not the most exciting to fight, um, fight of the watch, just because he is primarily a grappler, like I said. But still... He's an absolute beast, undefeated. He's even dominated those annuals in the past, which he probably wouldn't do again. Uh, but that's another topic for another video. Um, check him out. Could be the Eagle Nurmanov. Next up, Michael Venom Page. Um, probably the more one of the more exciting fighters on this list. Um, fights with his hands down. Pretty, pretty. Um, arrogant when he's fighting or at least comes off that way he likes to play around a lot but so far he really hasn't been you know tested by an extremely high caliber fighter so I can't really say too much on MVP other than the fact that most of his wins come by finishes uh, extremely deadly counter striker a uh, very playful fighter, um, but I'd love to see him fight somebody of UFC caliber rather than, you know, Bellator. So that'll probably happen in the future. Check him out, Michael Venom Page, send that 9 0. Next up is my favorite female fighter to watch, Yoan and Young J. Check, uh, former Muay Thai champ, current uh, UFC strawweight champ. Um, not afraid to go to war. She has amazing striking. She has a lot of heart um, She's probably one of the best strikers in MMA like that's in women and men um, All I have to say about her is just wow you need to know who this is go check her out ASAP um, Especially if you like a good stand-up fighter with good solid takedown defense Yeah, hands down you on the you on J check Go check her out. If you haven't heard of her, you should. As I said before, thanks for tuning in, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Whatever you feel, even comment below some fighters who you think I should know or I should check out, even though um, I know a lot of fighters. There's probably even some good MMA fighters who I don't know about. So, um, until next time, it's been Pro Z. Catch you later.